back on the road again. We had such a nice time yesterday out in the van that we decided to go out again today. We had to wait in for some plumber, but he come nice and early. So we went back to Morrison's like we did last week and got, got the pasta bar and got some chicken and some sausages. So we're gonna go and uh, head back up to the same place we were at yesterday. That's the plan unless we get diverted. Back up to Paynton at that little park that we had, but this time it won't be the rain and the wind and the waves crashing because it seems like a lovely summer's day today. I wouldn't say summer's day, Carl. Well, it is. I mean, the clear, some clear sky when we're in the car. All we got is blue skies and warmth, so it seems like a summer's day, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks nice. It looks beautiful. Let's do the glue. <laughs> We're on our way, there's a Paynton, we've come off the A38, there's Paynton roundabout, so we're going to head towards that. And what a beautiful sunny day it is. Jackie, it's a beautiful sunny day, okay? And I won't have you trying to bring the moon down. Oi. Here, what's it say up there, love? Paynton. Paynton, 12 miles. <laughs> I'm not, I'm a realistic person. I'm a realist and it's a beautiful sunny day. It is, there I you, agree with you. There you go, thank you. It's a bit windy, but it's... a bit windy, it's a bit cold and... I wouldn't want to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful and it's sunny. It is gorgeous. I'll give you that. Yeah, thank you. Cheeky. We're on our road. We're on the road again. What have we got here? Dartmouth, Topmouth. Well, that's the way we're going, I think, innit? We come here yesterday, but I've got a memory like a bleeding sieve. Exeter, the shops, Ashburton. Let's go straight across here. Right, you're all coming across. I'm on this now, this is my lane, you don't like it, I'm going to My road by, I was on it first. Dartington Hall Estate. Oh, you were fascinated by this brown water down here yesterday, but it won't be as brown today, because it's not emptying it down. <laughs> That's the oven dish. Why? <laughs> no, just rattling away in the cupboard, oh. in the oven, but the oven's all packed out with tea towels. Joys us. Imagine if somebody was walking by and then they just climbed up on the back of that lorry, jumped in the toilet <laughs> and christened it and, and jumped out 200 <laughs> yards down the road. You're with Bob. Fascinating, that. There's Bob in front there. Hail and ride and he's Bob 1. Bob 1. That must mean there's a Bob 2 somewhere. Probably Bob's coaches and he's got like multiple coaches. That's Bob 1. Here, what have we got here? Yeah, Payton, I want one laid over. Uh-oh. Penguin straight ahead. Oh gosh. Oh, Bob's and then it's like, it's, it's got three lanes, but there's only two at the moment. So here we go. Oh, here we go, that's Arkin good. Arkin filter. Arkin filter. Oi, Bob. Bob one, Bob was two. Was Peyton, there it is. Maybe now but Peyton. than yesterday. It's not as wet. It's a lot sunny. Look at these beautiful, beautiful natural fast cottages. Absolutely gorgeous. Nightmare if ever they're unfortunate enough to catch on fire. <laughs> That's me being doom and gloom. That's normally your job, Jackie. I wouldn't want it. His roofs have to be very strong by all accounts. I wouldn't want it. Or full of insects. That's nice. Give it there. Oh. <laughs> we just missed the train, literally, by seconds. Uh -huh. But we're at a level crossing. In Paynton, heading down towards the seafront. Dead end somewhere. And we're here. I, I said it yesterday, I always get stuck in Paynton. There's so many one-way roads 
and I always end up going down the wrong one and going the wrong way. So I'm gonna keep coming here every time we have a day off until I know it like the back of me blinking hand. Of course, it's a bit busier than it was yesterday. Blimey. That's because it's the nice weather. It's weird, isn't it? So there's a space at the end for us, or it's all been for nothing. Just taking a look at the parking restrictions. No camping night parking. And what's that? First of May to the 30th of September, eight to 10. Four hours, no return. So that's between the 1st of May and the 30th of September. So should be okay today, but it says no camping overnight. But I know a lot of people do, judging by park for night. We'll see. And it's a much better day than it was yesterday. Look at that. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Like a summer's day with a cool breeze, a very cool breeze. We paid a visit to Morrison's again on the way out to our destination and we got our chicken, sausages and our salad bowls. Left the sausage rolls because we didn't even eat them yesterday. Yesterday, last week, where's Jackie? Doing what she does, back on the bed, being a princess. Always. Always a princess. Right, I'll put the kettle on for you, darling. Thank you. And the cups are there. And I'm going to sit down and when the kettle's boiled, I'll let you bring my tea through to me. I will. Thank you. This weather is absolutely glorious here today. Absolutely beautiful sunshine. I'll tell you what, you know, ever since I've had uh, the van, I've always fancied jumping in the van and heading up towards Paynton. Ideally to stay over there overnight or something. I've just wanted to head up towards Paynton, go around the coast, try different areas, see what it's like. So coming here yesterday and again today is sort of like a little ambition I've had since we got the van in September. Um, so as I keep saying, we just want more time off, more days off, more consecutive days off as well. So we can get out in the van, do some exploring and make the most of it. Stay out for as long as possible. Oh, there she goes. She's making me a cup of tea again. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, I was saying, I was just thinking, everybody knows it's a free car park, so they're making the most of it between now and May. Oh, definitely. Got to make the most while you can. It's beautiful, this salad pot. It was quite stripped bare when I went to Morrison's today, so I had to make the most of what I can. I call it a salad pot. It's more of a pasta pot with a bit of salad on top. But I must admit, oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And that Chinese chicken and the sausage and the southern fried, stunning. Mm. We've ventured out for another little walk today. I'll tell you what, the weather's a lot better than it was yesterday. And we've come down to the bottom. Well, the bottom of the, I don't know what you call it. The bottom of the walk, the bottom of the coastal walk, very close to the beach. We couldn't have come down here yesterday the waves would have, would have had us there in the drink. Like I said, we're a bit further down now, a bit closer to the water. Same water as yesterday, but not as choppy and a lot brighter. Still very windy today though. We appear to have rocked up right in the center of Beach Hut Capital. Look at them all. Beach huts everywhere. And they say there's nowhere for the homeless to go. Give them all a beach hut. There we are, mate. We just, we just wandered away from the coast for a while. See if we can make our way up to this, you know, another area of Paynton. And uh, you can see there's plenty of guest houses and things around here. Quite a nice, attractive spot. I think. We're not going to go up to the main strip where they have all the arcades and that. Not really our thing. <laughs> that means spending money and we don't like spending money. Another gorgeous piece of architecture. Look at that. The Red Cliff Hotel. Absolutely stunning looking building. There it is. The Red Cliff Hotel. Let's zoom in on the sign a bit. But fortunately for us, we don't need a hotel. We got a camper van. We're just trying to make our way to Paint and Pier. 
I don't know whether it's open or closed at the moment. I'm sure we'll soon find out once we get down there. Look at the stunning paint job on this beautiful van. That's well psychedelic, I like that. Austin Powers would and all. We made it onto the pier. All the amusements in the arcade seem quite active. Looks like the force is with Jackie today. She's got Chewbacca and the mighty Darth Vader. Who we got there? Oh, we got one of them there, little Stormtrooper fellas as well. Here's one for you, Danielle. I know you like a bit of Steve Rogers, Captain America. Like I said before, we haven't been to Paynton for a long time, certainly to the end of the pier. And last time I came was oh, probably knocking 10 years ago and you could get right down to the end of the pier. But now they're putting some sort of little theme thing on it. Pier view entrance, Lost City Adventure Golf. That should be very, very exciting. Let's see if we can have a pier through the cracks. There we go. A sneaky, peaky, pervy shot. Looks very good beyond there, doesn't it? Anyone who think I'm used to this little peeking through cracks and gates and doors, I can assure you I'm not. Just managed to get a little sneak over a little short wall and even got a Jurassic Park car and a, I don't know, is that a Diplodocus? One of those things with big, big long noses or big long necks, should I say? Looks very exciting on the other side of this wall. Where's Jackie? There she is. Don't try to break in, Jackie. You might, you might get eaten by that long-necked Diplodocus. Right, that's where the van is down now. I'm going to zoom in as much as I can. Can I see it? Probably not. Just down. Okay, no, there we are, down there. That's where the van should be. That's where the van should be. Just there. And the surfers are out. Brave old boys, look at them look. I hope that wetsuit's nice and warm. Do they call them a wetsuit or a dry suit? I know a dry suit is supposed to keep you dry, dry. And a wetsuit keeps you wet. I don't think you'd want to get wet in that freezing cold water, so it's probably a dry suit. Oh, oh, there it is. Go on, bye. Whee! Dun, 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 dun. Fantastic. Go on, Jackie, get the buggers. Go on. Pam, 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 pam. Proper sniper. Just leaving the pier now. I must say, a thoroughly enjoyable experience. Didn't cost a penny though, because we didn't eat nothing. We didn't play in the arcades. We just enjoyed it all. Bye bye, Paint and Pier. Thanks for a wonderful time. Oh my God, those clouds are coming for us. Let's take. Take a quick run back to the van. Takes us about 15 minutes, I think. And we're back again. Back to the warmthness of the van. Have a nice cup of coffee. Maybe play some more cards. Wipe your feet, Daisy. <laughs> we're gonna be leaving this park up any minute now and going back home. As you can see, it's a bit lighter than when we left yesterday and the waves picking up nicely but it's not as bad as it was yesterday as per the rest of our little visit here today and yesterday absolutely stunning sunset to be leaving to We're gonna leave this lovely park up now and it has been an absolutely fabulous couple of days. Obviously we didn't sleep here last night but we spent all afternoon and evening here last night and then we drove home and then we come back again today, you know, this afternoon after the plumber had had a look at the leak from the bathroom. But we've had such an amazing time here. It really is nice. We've been down to the arcade. We've seen, you know, the sun's been out today, which gives, oh, it just makes things seem beautiful when you've got the sun out, you know. It's, I can't explain it. It's just been a really, really, really lovely couple of days. But another thing is, which I found out just looking at Google, obviously, 
um, you know, you're only allowed to park, this is a park for night park up, but you're only allowed to park here according to the parking plaque. When is it up to the 31st of May? Or is it the beginning of May? Around May. May time, like, yeah. And then um, you're not allowed to park all the time. Um, but looking on Google Maps, you can actually see the reason you can't park is because this whole area um, where all the vans are parked is all taken up. The whole car park is taken up by beach huts. So there's nowhere to park anyway. But it's really, really nice that they do offer the facility out of season for us van lifers to come and enjoy it. Yeah, very nice. Bottom of the windscreen steamed up problem it would be for you if you were driving <laughs> but fortunately i'm tall enough to see over it oh. <laughs> we'll definitely be back again and before may-ish because we won't, we won't be able to park here because there'll be peach yeah true Hello. I don't know whether this is going to be on the end of the last video or the beginning of the next video, but we shall see how it goes. We're currently in the van. As you can see, we're off out on our travels again. And um, we're driving through that horrible 20 mile an hour zone in our neighborhood, which I commonly refer to as Shitsville. <laughs> I don't like it. It's a 20 mile in Arizona. I'll never get used to it. I'll spend more time looking at the speedo than I'll do looking at the road. I know they say if I keep it in second gear, I don't have to look at the speedo, but that's it. So anyway, we're carrying on. Um, we're going to go somewhere. It's, <laughs> in my opinion, it's a beautiful day. Is it a beautiful day, Jackie? Not really. Never is with you. It's been raining. <laughs> I don't see the clouds. I'll see the blue sky. So we're heading off and um yeah we're gonna go maybe we're gonna have a nice park up maybe we'll park up for the night maybe we won't we've been prepared we've come prepared and brought nighttime stuff he's coming all the way around but he wouldn't even indicate him so but at least he was going steady oh i'm out of, i'm out of the 20 mile an hour zone now yay here we are heading out on the big road with all the big boys and all the big cars don't know where we're going uh, look at those clouds. What clouds? Hang on. I'm trying to look at the mirror to make sure I don't drive into anything. Not telling you. All right. Saying. I don't know where we're going, There's but I sure clouds. know where we've been. I'm holding on to the promises of the songs of yesterday, but I made up my mind. I ain't wasted no more time. So let's put our foot down and get to where we're going. So basically, me and Jackie, we work for ourselves and we had no bookings whatsoever today, which is Sunday. So there's no roasts to make, no food to prepare for customers. So we only have one week off, one, one week. We only have one day a week off as standard. So we decided to take today off as well, seeing as we got no bookings and the day was quite nice. And we got a very, very busy next couple of weeks coming up. Eventually we want to drop the Sunday. We will be dropping the Sunday completely over the summer. And then we'll have Sundays and Mondays off. Like everybody else, two days a week, why not? I've just been into Morrison's to get our salad pots and chicken and salad and more chicken. Took the shopping trolley back and I'm back to the van to see my Daisy. You are right, Daisy? You gonna have some chicken later? Well, we made it to Paynton again and it's such a beautiful place and uh, I couldn't help but stop and have a closer look at this hotel, the Redcliffe Hotel looks really really nice we got the camper van so we won't be staying there but one day i think it'd be a nice place to stay and there we have the travel lodge where my son and his girlfriend stayed not long ago ideal right on the seafront 
we made it down to the harbour in Paynton. I must admit, all the years I've been to Paynton, on and off, I've never actually made it down to the harbour. I think in the past I've just sort of like gone over to the beach or to the shops in the arcades. But it's too cold for the beach and I certainly don't like... Well, I don't want to be going spending money in shops and arcades. Not today, anyway. We've got loads of two pence pieces at home, to, at home, at work, to use up. So Jackie keeps threatening we'll come down there when the weather's nice and use all them in the penny arcade. Look at that. We're lucky enough to be able to get up close and personal with a few nice boats that are out of the water. You don't often see them like this. You generally just see the top half of them. But it's nice to see them... You know, all the hull and the propellers and everything like that as well. Let's get a different perspective on them. There's Jackie with Daisy, as you know, and a little bit more of the harbour. What's this boat here? That looks like it could be like a pleasure cruise so that you could buck, go on boat trips. That'd be nice. We seem to have found one that's a little bit more Jackie size. That'd do you, Jack, wouldn't it? You and Daisy, you could be captain, Daisy can be first mate. I'm by no means a fisherman, but I'm assuming these are all like lobster and crab pots. Well, mind a bit of crab or a bit of lobster, come to think of it. We made it to the end of the arbor. You can see where the little boats come in and they head into there. And they all park themselves up there and do whatever it is off duty fishermen do. Drink, I imagine, and sing those chanty songs. And now we're going to start heading back out the arbour again. I'll tell you what, it's lovely and peaceful here. Not quite the hustle and bustle of the promenade itself. And here's where we part the van up. Our usual place was Chock-a-Block, so we parked it here for now. If we stay the night, we'll move it round later on this evening. I've got my chicken and Jackie's got a salad pot and Jackie's got chicken as well and so's Daisy. Um, when I say a salad pot, it's all pasta really with some hard boiled eggs in it, which I'm going to have one of them. And I'm chopping up some extra some salad for me, seeing as I'm not having any pasta because it's got carbs and I'm trying to make the effort for now. That's my salad all made up with a bit of chicken on there as well. Jackie got some chicken there. Daisy's waiting for some chicken. I've got some more chicken Daisy could have. Got some grapes in Jackie's pasta pot. And dear little Jackie, she's over there making a cup of tea. It's all dished up, Jackie's made the tea, so there's only one thing left to do now, isn't it? And there's one for Daisy. You gonna have your chicken, Daisy? You gonna have it? Hey, I'm gonna have that for you. Let's move that back. You go and have that, there's a good girl. Whoa, that's a whole chicken thigh stripped. So this is our view from the window where we're parked up at the moment. And that's from the side window. And obviously we can look towards the front. Oh, look at that, we're on a main road. It's not too bad, it's only one lane, but there's a lot of traffic. There is quite a lot of traffic coming along this road. I mean, it seems to be eased enough a little bit as the afternoon goes on. And um, we can park here all night, as far as I'm aware. We you know, the parking's all set up, but we almost certainly, I'll finish, I've just made a cup of coffee. <clears throat> Where's my lovely cup of coffee? There he is. I'm just going to finish my cup of coffee and then we'll drive round and hopefully the other side where it's a little quieter off the road, nice car park where we parked up um, the other day um, with the waves crashing over the front of the van. Hopefully that will be a bit freer by then. I may even take a walk down with Daisy or we might just drive round and chance it. I just took Daisy for a walk to see if there's any parking spaces available down the end and uh, I counted about 10 spaces. While I was down there, about six or seven cars come in, but there were a few leaving as well. So hopefully if we go back to the van, drive around the block and go there, there'll be a space for us and we can park there for the night if Jackie likes it. Here we are back at the van. Let's get Jackie's attention. Yep, yeah, she's gonna open it. She's gonna open the door for me. No. Thank you. No, the other one. <laughs> That'll do. Thank you, Jackie. Well, we moved off that parking space and uh, obviously I checked the park, car park out and there was uh, plenty of spaces there at the end. I thought it was a bit chockers, first of all, because the beginning part of it was absolutely jam packed. So we're heading off down to that park up now. Hopefully we can spend the night here. I don't see any reason why we can't, other people have. Whoa. 
right, yeah, I took Daisy for a walk down here. When I seen these cars initially, I thought it's not looking too promising. There's one leaving. Oh, there's another gap there. I want to go right down the end. coming out there. He was there, he was there earlier. He's sticking right out. A Renault Master, big box man. Let's whip it around. And what's all that red stuff there, Jack, in front? What is it? What did, what did you call it the other day? S um, something funny. <laughs> it's a mixture of mud and stone and rock and all that. I don't know what you call it, bricks? I don't know. Come on then, Miss Fast Fussy Pants. Where are we going? You don't want to go here? Nah, we could actually go here if we wanted, but just here by the blue one? Yeah. As good as. He's got his levelling ramps out here, so. We are. Nice seaside spot again. Beautiful. I'm having my tea. I've got some chicken and I'm watching The Walking Dead and I've got some tomato soup on the go. Jackie just wants a mug of tomato soup. There's our tomato soup bubbling away there. <laughs> Can't wait to get some of that down me. No bread and butter though because I'm not really doing the carbs. This is the chicken that we got from Morrison's from the hot counter. A um, new four stout chicken thighs. I made this chicken once before. I'm trying to remember how I've done it now. Is I got a can of Guinness. I poured half of it in the bottom of a baking tray. I put the other half, the rest of the can, in the centre. You know, in the centre of the baking tray. Obviously, with the lid open, the can was opened, and I got a whole chicken and shoved it on top of it. And then as it was cooking, as it was cooking, the beer, the Guinness inside was, um, you know, evaporating and it's all going up into the, all going up into the, into the chicken. And then it was all thickening up and I was kept picking that up and basting the chicken with it as well. And I'll tell you what, it was blooming handsome. I got me soup, Heinz tomato soup. I've not had this for a long, long time, actually. Let's try it. I know it's boiling. Oh, that is lovely. That is really nice. Oh yeah, three bits of chicken and my soup. That's my tea sorted. Jackie's, um, you know, she's just having a mug of soup. But if she's still hungry after that, then um, she's got her pasta pot left in the fridge and some chicken if she wants it. But she's also been tucking, tucking in on one of her, well, on an Easter egg when I popped into Sainsbury's this morning. No, Morrison's. I've seen an Easter egg there, so I thought I'd pick her up an Easter egg so she can have that. Dip it in her. She likes to dip it in her cup of tea. I don't think she'll be dipping it in the soup. Good morning. Well, we spent another night in the bus and uh, quite a nice night as well, actually. Nice and nice and cosy tucked in at the back there. Jackie, she didn't want to eat much last night. All she had was her soup. I think she woke up at about, I don't know, about three in the morning, two, three o'clock in the morning, starving with a belly ache. So we had to get up, make a cup of tea and sort her out with something. I don't know what she had. I think she had some of her pasta pot and a little bit of chicken and a packet of crisps. So that managed to settle her down until the morning. So... Um, yeah, we're not going to do much this morning. Just chill out, hang around the van for a while. And I do believe um, we're heading towards McDonald's for about 11 o'clock. Let them get the breakfast stuff out of the way. Get towards McDonald's. Get Jackie a nice Big Mac in it or something like that. Very tempting for me. I've been very, I've been good all week. I haven't had any carbs all week. Maybe I can count this as my naughty day and have McDonald's. And then the rest of the chicken and the salad, we can have that for tea. We shall see. But yeah, I think I will give in to temptation and have McDonald's at lunchtime. Well, as you can see, this is our park up that we had last night, right on the front. I know we parked here last week and you know what we're like, as soon as we find a new park up that we like, we do it a few times. Why not make the most of it? 
But yeah, beautiful park up right by the sea. We can only do it park here really until about May-ish because then it's all covered with beach huts and we can't use it again until about October. So make the most of it while we can. There you go. You can hear the winds howling again. The waves are crashing in. Not as bad as they were last week. It's still a beautiful place to park up. And once again, there's our little William braving the storm. Well, if you can call it a storm, it's not really. It's just a lot of wind and some lovely waves out to sea. One thing that I have noticed is these, they call them thermal blinds and they really are thermal blinds. They were up all night, obviously closed all night. And uh, yeah, that's fine. And you, as soon as you pull them back, especially on the front windows, you can actually feel the cold because they're only single glaze. You can see the condensation that's built up on them as well. You can actually feel the cold coming from them. But as soon as you close them up, again, that, that coldness is gone. So obviously these thermal pleated blinds, they do actually work. We got them on all the windows as well, but these ones ain't quite so bad because they're double glazed. All the all the windows in the rear of the van are double glazed windows. It's just obviously you've got your windscreen and your door windows. They're not double glazed. They're just standard, you know, whatever comes with your Fiat Ducato. Right, like I said, we've had a lovely park up here. We're going to head back towards Plymouth now. That's it, get a bit of dinner on the way home, I think. Or a bit of lunch, should I say. And that tides come right up again beautiful beautiful waves it's nice being this close that's my parking sensors my reverse parking sensors they beat when the raindrops run down over the sensors so <laughs> blue car right now cool that Randall sticks right out doesn't he Gosh. he's a big boy how big he is Fucking windmill, yeah. Then it's the first time I think I bumped my wing mirror. Yeah. Someone's got a giraffe in their garden. <laughs> we just got a hedgehog. Oh, and moles. And Daisy when she comes out for a wee. On our way back home, and uh, as usual, the weather's blinking horrible. It's absolutely panning it down. I mean, I've been stuck in this lane doing about between 40 and 50 miles an hour. Um, sometimes some cars still shoot past me. They're obviously doing nothing 70 miles an hour. I mean, it's crazy, really, really crazy weather. Just got to keep plenty of distance between us and the car in front. Because you never know what's going to happen. Not even that one in front might be the one that loses control and slides off. Never know. You hear about it all the time. Well, you're not. Not quite sure what's going on ahead here. There's a lot of flashing lights. We'll have to get a little bit closer. See what is happening. Oh, nobody's injured. Oh, I better move over. Visibility is really bad. That's what that road traffic accident officer was probably going for just now. That's him, he went past us. Mm. Oh, I wonder where he's off to. There he passed us just now, I remember that one. Oh, nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. That's not good. At least it's the right way up. Mind you, did the roof look a bit crushed? It might have, the roof looked a little bit flattened, didn't it? So it might have rolled anyway. We made it home in one piece, which is great. And we decided not to go to uh, McDonald's in the end. So I've done myself some of the leftover chicken and salad and a little bit of the leftover pasta. Not a lot left there. So I had that's that and I've done Jackie. She wanted egg and beans on toast. That's what she fancied. That's what she got. <laughs>